уже не так свеж, как Амин Шарипов. Остается совсем немножко времени и выдержал Арбобов эту ситуацию. Zabit Magomed Sharipov is a fighter known for his exceptional kung fu abilities. What's more, he has a unique and unpredictable fighting style. This skill stems from the kung fu discipline Zabit has mastered, namely Wushu Sanda, also known as Sancho. Wushu Sanda is a martial art developed by the Chinese military, based on traditional kung fu techniques merged with modern combat tactics. Unlike other martial arts, Wushu Sanda is simpler and more direct, focusing less on specific forms. Its main emphasis is on speed, the ability to combine attacks, and effectiveness in combat. Through this fighting style, Zabit Magomed Sharapov stands out in the arena. His matches are invariably engaging to watch. This fighter from Dagestan began his professional MMA career in 2012, marking his debut with a first-round KO victory over Zuma Geldi Zetbispayev. As previously discussed, Zabit possesses an intriguing fighting style. The way he subdued his debut opponent was particularly captivating, utilizing a powerful spinning punch. At the beginning of his professional career, Zabit joined the Russian MMA promoter, ProFC. He secured an impressive victory over Abkarim Yunusov at ProFC 42. Once again, Zabit showcased his captivating fighting style, winning in an unconventional manner. Near the end of the third round, Zabit executed a rear naked chokehold, leading the referee to stop the fight and declare Zabit the winner by submission. Afterwards, Zabit faced the formidable fighter Iftikor Arbabov at Pro FC 44. Zabit was aggressively dominant from the first round. Arbabov had to receive treatment after being bombarded with a barrage of attacks. However, this fighter from Russia was not going to be easily defeated. In the second round, Arbobov attempted to turn the tide of the ground game. He got on top of Zabit and relentlessly pounded the fighter from Dagestan. 
Но для этого сначала нужно отвлечь внимание Магомед Шарипова ударами. Пусть и не очень сильными. This time, Zabit proved his medal by managing to hold his own in the ground game. In the final moments of the second round, the referee stopped the fight after Zabit launched a knee strike followed by a hammer punch, leaving Arbabov powerless. Between 2014 and 2016, Zabit demonstrated his prowess in the Absolute Championship Burkett promotion with a stunning record. Born on March 1, 1991, he recorded six wins in six fights without a single defeat. Competing in the featherweight division, Zabit made his debut at ACB 11 against Oruj Zamanov. In this match, Zabit easily won by submission in the second round. Это единственный наверное, ключ к победе, потому что в стойке он очень хорошо. С коленом ударить в прыжки от Магомед Шарипова отличное оружие, когда прихватит. Интересный боец, посмотрите, какие О, отличные колено. Колено влетает сейчас. Ой, это хороший удар по печени. Нация просто сумасшедшая, причем действует он как заправский амбидекстер. Я так понимаю, что... Хороший прихват шеи, я думаю, сейчас будет завершающий. Красота! Никина из маунта. Отлично. Кроме слова красота, ничего не... Next, it was Artak Nazarian's turn to fall victim. Facing off in the semifinals of the ACB 15 Grand Prix 2015, Artak was forced to withdraw from the fight. The Ukrainian MMA athlete was worn down by Zabit's Kung Fu attacks. Zabit went on to win the ACB Grand Prix 2015 featherweight championship after defeating Abdul Rahman Tamirov in the final. Zabit needed just one round to win the fight by submission. Zabit just abmanul Abkitril. Zabit's journey in the Grand Prix led him to a bout against Sheikh Magomed Arapanov for the vacant ACB featherweight title on March 9, 2016. With less than a minute left in the first round, Zabit delivered a pair of hook punches that landed on Magomed Arapkanov's jaw. The referee immediately stopped the fight. Zabit was declared the winner by KO against his opponent and successfully brought home the ACB Featherweight Championship belt. Not long after, Valdin Silva challenged Zabit for his ACB Featherweight title. However, instead of capturing the title, the Brazilian fighter was met with a devastating KO punch. Oh, huge! Huge! There's the turnaround, the referee standing over them. That's there what we, we said go. about that. Wushu sat in the background, those spin. Yeah. Could be damage control for the next few minutes while he recovers, but eating dangerous now for Silva. 
Again, a big hammer fist. Working. <laughs> Silva trying to grab hold of a leg. Anything to stop them. that head, that spinning kick. And now really getting there to the There we go. There we go. After successfully defending his featherweight title in ACB, Zabit Magomed Sharapov then signed a contract with the UFC. Stepping into the octagon with confidence, following a streak of eight consecutive victories, he extended his record by defeating Mike Santiago at UFC Fight Night 2017 in Rotterdam, Netherlands. Zabit made an impressive debut in this UFC fight, showcasing his spectacular kung fu style. Near the end of the second round, Zabit secured a win over Mike through submission. After the fighter from Illinois tapped out, unable to escape the rear naked chokehold. Zabit is not only known for his stand-up fighting style, exchanging punches and kicks, but he is also skilled in wrestling and submissions. One of his submission techniques drew widespread admiration and might have been seen for the first time. This unique and unusual hold was demonstrated by Zabit during his fight against Brandon Davis in 2018. MMA analysts and fans were amazed when he secured Davis in an odd position, leading to Davis's surrender. There's just such a fluidity. It just mixes everything so simple. You got to put it. You got it. Oh, this happens again. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's got rid of a banana split. Oh, man. Same oh. arm bar. The same knee bar, rather. But this guy, but this. Look at that. Davis, Davis. Davis. Two oh, in that one that UFC. That, that is insane. That is insane. For this, Zabit was awarded the best submission of 2018. But this guy, but this, look at that. Davis that is two in one UFC. That is insane. That is insane. Zabit also showcased the Anaconda choke when he defeated Brazilian fighter Shaman Moraes. He made the fight seem effortless, forcing Shaman to tap out with just 30 seconds left in the match. Zabit put on another phenomenal performance against Kyle Bokniak at UFC 233. The Kung Fu master easily launched attacks using the cage wall, executing spinning kicks to Kyle's head, alternating rapidly between left and right leg kicks, and executing throws from the outside. All these remarkable actions led the judges to award the victory to Zabit by unanimous decision. For Magomed Sharipov, look at this mat return, beautiful stuff, and look at this outside trip. Pointed up on it, bent his leg just enough to catch him on the chin. Hand 